Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman here is Henry. Today we're going to show you the Arctic Wolf 295 QSL. Uh, this would be a bunk model. And we're going to start up front today. This is a gel coated fiberglass front cap that's molded with integrated LED lights in the front cap there for you. Um, this is also fiberglass all the way around and aluminum construction. Aluminum construction meaning each window, compartment door, everything is framed in with aluminum because some manufacturers do just the perimeter of the exterior wall so they can call it aluminum construction. So they do a good job as far as um, framing every opening in, making sure everything is done correctly. Also, it does come with your uh, Mori pin box, which is the orbital pin box, which if you do happen to have a short bed truck, uh, you can remove two bolts in the back, slide in a wedge to move your pivot point from the front of your pin box to the back. So you don't have to buy the expensive uh, slider fifth wheel hitch. Also underneath here uh, is your docking lights. So this will be for your blue LED light on the front cap right here. You have your extend retract switch for your landing gear in the front. And then you would have your battery box vent here and your front storage compartment. This here uh, goes into your pass through storage, but this does have a steel, uh, sorry, a steel tray right here in the front for storage. And this would be where your battery box would get mounted in. Right here is a portable solar panel port. This here is a port do any dry camping and you want to plug in a portable solar panel you can do that and then obviously you would want more than 12 volt battery at that time uh, let's jump back up here to the awning this is a power awning you do have an adjustment on each end so you can adjust the pitch of your awning if it's raining so it runs off one side or the other so it doesn't pull up on your awning you do have the LED blue light underneath the awning there as well 20 pound LP tank, you do have two of those, one on each side. So this connects with the bottle on the other side. And the reason they go with 20 pounders is because that is your standard. If you have to go to a gas station to swap out, they do not have 30 pounders there. However, there would be room for 30 pound LP bottles in there if you'd like to upgrade. Pass through storage. This goes through to the other side. So you have a lot of nice storage here in your basement. And then in front of that is an outside mini kitchen. This would come with your refrigerator. So you do have a refrigerator on the outside. And then we get to your stable step. This is a very nice step. We have a lot of good feedback on this for the simple fact that it's not a suspended step as you go in and out it rocks the unit it sits on the ground and makes it rock solid you do have an adjustment on each side right here so you can adjust it to the contour of the ground so it sits level and it is very easy to set up and take down basically open your entry door you lift it up and swing it up in. There's a latch on the left hand side right here that latches into the frame of your door and that's what holds it in place. You just close the door, fold your grab handle in and you're ready to go. So very easy to set up and take down. And also you'll notice the entry door um, is a friction hinge door. So this is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds. You don't have latches like we've had in the past that you happen to forget to unlatch and open the door and tear it out or they get brittle over time and break. Um, oh, one other thing I need to point out and we'll show you when we get over to the dump station but this does have your Arctic package so it does have your extreme weather package so it is designed to camp in the cold weather. Moving back to the slide out area here, this is your outside entertainment center. Um, so you have your blue LED lighted speakers here. You have your TV connections and your TV bracket up here. This is compatible to the one on the inside, so if you like to take the TV from the inside, slide it in out here, you can do that. And back here behind a slide out underneath is an LP quick connect. So if you do have an outdoor grill and you'd like to tap into the LP bottles on the unit, there is a quick connect right underneath here that you can quick connect that into 
for your outdoor grill. Four by four inch tube bumper. You do have a cap on each end, so this will be where you store your sewer hose in. You have your spare tire already mounted for you on the bumper. And then you'll also notice a black mounting bracket underneath the clearance light. That is uh, for a backup camera, so it is prepped and ready for a backup camera if you'd like to add that. On the driver's side, it'd be all your hookups. So you have your 50 amp connection right here in the back corner. This does come with a separate cord, so it's not a cord you're pulling out and trying to shove back in. It is what they call a detachable cord that does come along with the unit. Then you have your outside shower right there with your hot and cold. And we'll move up between the two slide outs on this side. Um, this is where your water heater is. This is a six gallon gas electric water heater. Uh, Sorry, six gallon gas electric DSI water heater. DSI standing for direct spark ignition. And you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. If you come up here and look on the lower left hand corner right there is an on and off switch. That would be the electric side of your water heater. And I'll show you the gas switch when we move to the inside. Also, uh, let me swing down underneath here. We'll talk about your rims and tires. It does come with aluminum rims. And you do have, I removed the center cap here so you can see it has your easy lube axles along with your self-adjusting brakes. And then right here, I don't know if you can see that, but that is your tire pressure monitor. It has a number 80 on the cap so you can see what the tire pressure needs to be. If your tire pressure gets low, this will turn to red so you can visually see that the tire pressure is getting low and you need to add air to the tire. And then this also has one touch leveling. The, the monitor panel is inside, so we'll go over that later. But it does have one touch leveling that um, when you unhook from your truck, that it levels the whole unit by itself. And when you're done, you can hit um, hitch height and it'll retract all your jacks plus drop your pin box back down to where the hitch height was for your pickup truck when you pulled away so you're ready to hook up. All right, moving up to the, your hookup center and your dump station up in the front here. You have your fresh water and city water connections here. Your city water obviously is where you connect your water hose at a campsite. Fresh water is where you'd fill your fresh water tank if you're dry camping. Then you would turn on your water pump switch on the inside. Black tank flush, after you dump your black tank, there's a sprayer on the back side. If you connect the water hose to this, we'll rinse that black tank out for you. Then you have your satellite and cable hookups above that. Um, right here is your pass-through storage that we saw from the other side. And then, like I mentioned, this is your second 20-pound LP tank on this side. And your dump station is down below. They do add uh, lever extensions here for you conveniently. And your gray and black tank all dump out of one port that you have there. And we're going to try to drop down so you can see this does have your heated and enclosed underbelly. So it is designed, like I mentioned, for your cold weather camping. All right, I believe that concludes the outside of the Arctic Wolf. 295 QSL and now we'll move to the inside. Moving on in we have your steps that go up to the bathroom bedroom area. We have a loft above your den which is straight in from your entry door. We have your kitchen and dining room living area in the back. Why don't we start right inside the door it would be your pantry to the kitchen area. You do have a lot of nice deep storage here. As a pantry. Beside the pantry in your dinette area, I'm going to back up just a little bit so you can get a visual. What we're looking at here would be your entertainment center and your dinette table. So this does come with your fireplace and that is I believe a 5000 BTU um, that it puts a heat output for you. Uh, you can adjust the lighting on it and your heat. Uh, you do have your stereo right above that. This is AM, FM, Bluetooth, uh, USB, has all the good stuff. It does have a DVD player as well. 
Above that is where you would hang your TV and this does come with your bracket that mounts on the back of your TV so that is included. Dinette table and chairs and underneath each chair you do have some hidden storage underneath the cushion. In the back you have what they call a trifold sofa. This sofa, if you look at the pictures on our website, does fold out so you can add an additional sleeping area if you would like. And you do have overhead cabinets with glass inserted cabinet doors. USB port and receptacle on each side as well as a nightstand. This side has some storage in the nightstand. The other side does not because that is where your outside shower and your 50 amp hookup is uh, located on the outside. Swinging on over to the kitchen area, we do have your residential refrigerator, nice overhead cabinets, and a protruding island here. This uh, refrigerator is an 11 cubic foot refrigerator. This is has a separate freezer compartment at the bottom and then your refrigerator would be at the top very nice large refrigerator and again that is electric and 12 volt so if you do have power outage it does kick over to your 12 volt uh, with an inverter that inverts it to 110 you do have the glass uh, drop-in cooktop along with an oven this does have blue LED lights around each knob. As you can see there's a button on the right hand side to turn that light on and off. And the purpose of the glass drop-in cooktop is it gives you more countertop space if you're not using the stovetop. And this does have a bifold cover that goes back and also serves as a splash guard and that is a three burner. A bank of three drawers there as well. You have an overhead cabinet door along with your microwave more overhead cabinets you do have a ceiling tray along with your ceiling fan and then you have your center island this does have two cabinet doors in the island it has your farm style sink this does have your flush mounted sink cover again giving you more countertop space if you're not using the sink and like I mentioned this is your farm style single bowl stainless steel sink and then you would have your high-rise kitchen faucet. And also in the kitchen area is another USB port along with a receptacle. And you'll see that throughout the unit. They do add a lot of re uh, receptacles and USB ports for you. All right, moving on through the kitchen into your den area. Um, this does have your jackknife sofa in here along with a flip down bunk above that does have a flip down cup holder in the sofa and you do have a bank of three drawers at the bottom and moving on in you do have your linen closet in the corner along with your entertainment center uh, facing your sofa In the hallway, going to the bedroom, this is your monitor, where your monitor panel is. This is your interior, exterior light switches. Your uh, monitor panel where you would check your black, gray, and freshwater tank levels. And this is also where I mentioned if you do any dry camping, your water pump switch for your freshwater tank is on the left top. And then the second one in would be your gas switch for your water heater side. This does have a touch screen. Um, thermostat. This would operate your air conditioner and your furnace. And then you have the control panel for your one touch leveling um, for the outside. And this also has uh, a couple other options as showing you your battery which is kind of hard to see but it actually says 13.5 volts so it shows you the the power that you have into your battery as well. So moving on up into the hallway you do have a cabinet door here just to hang some coats in. The ladder going to your uh, what do you call it? loft I guess above the den. So you do have a nice area for the kids to climb in up here and you also will have a backer in the wall right here 
with your connections in the ceiling along with another USB port. Moving on into the bathroom area, this has your lavatory along with a medicine cabinet, a wardrobe slide, and we'll get to that in a little bit. We have a stand-up corner shower. It does have your skylight above that, your creative breeze fan in the ceiling, and then your toilet that gives you the leg room that you're looking for. All right, we'll swing around here for you and talk about the wardrobe slide out. On this end is basically a linen closet. You have a bank of four drawers, and then you have your wardrobe on the other end. This is uh, the bedroom area. You have your queen size bed, and this is on a bed lift. So if you look at the pictures, I do have this in the two different positions, but you can actually recline this bed if you want to sit up to read or watch some TV. The extend retract switch for that is right above you on the headboard. Um, here again you have pendulum lights. Uh, these are in the blue mode right now. You can flip it over to white or turn them off. Again on each side of your bed, USB port and receptacle. And at the foot of the bed is your uh, entertainment center. If you like to add a TV in the bedroom, you already have the backer and the connections there for you and you have the second AC already installed that does come along with this your thermostat is right there again another touchscreen thermostat and one thing I also want to point out is you'll notice all your interior light switches are lit uh, so you don't fumble around in the dark trying to find them I believe that concludes the inside of the 295 QSL and I'll do one more brief walkthrough for you Again, we are the Outpost RV. You can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.